In this problem, we're asked to use our standard enthalpies of formation that we have in our chart and reference to figure out the delta H for the reaction, four moles of ammonia gas and five moles of oxygen gas yields four moles of nitrous oxide gas and six moles of gaseous water. If we look up on our chart of reference, we can find the delta H of formation. How much energy did it take to form each of these substances? So I'm going to take the delta H heat of formation, NH3, gaseous, is negative 46, and these are all, by the way, kilojoules per mole. It's important to realize that's per mole. So the delta heat of formation for NH3 is negative 46. For oxygen is zero, that is already at standard state. It doesn't take any energy to form it. For nitrous monoxide gas, it would be 90. And for water, gaseous water is negative 242. So all this tells us how much energy it takes to form. Well, in a, in a reaction, remember, the products are going to be formed. The reactants are not formed. The reactants is the opposite. They're consumed. And remember, if we go the opposite way, in energy related to energy it's reversed so if we think about this value here when we look at the equation the heat the heat of the reaction excuse me the reaction rather is the sum of the heat of formation for the products minus the sum of the heat of formation of the reactants why minus the minus sign is in there because it would be the opposite sign because it's consumed and not formed. Another way to remember this equation is always think about like we did for change in temperature or change in volume as final minus initial. So first let's sum up the products. Now remember this amount of negative 46 kilojoules is per mole. How many moles do we have? Well according to this equation we have four moles. So if I have four moles of NH3 gas, and I multiply that by negative 46 kilojoules per mole, my moles will cancel. And then oxygen, it doesn't matter how many moles we have because that's zero. So that's going to give us the sum of the reactants. Let's look at the products, the heat of formation for the products. We have four moles of nitrous, mono nitrous monoxide and 90 kilojoules per mole. So my moles cancel. Plus the six moles of water, each of them releasing 242 kilojoules per mole. So for the, if I calculate out the delta H of the reactant side, I would get negative 184 kilojoules. For the product side, we have to add how much energy from NO, which would be 360 kilojoules, and then the water as well, which would be 1,452 kilojoules. And this would be a negative. So 360 plus negative 1452 the final is going to be negative 1092 kilojoules. So what happens is that in forming the products, we released 1,092 kilojoules. In forming the reactant, we released 184 kilojoules. Well, let's put this back into our equation. The heat of formation for the reaction overall is the product sum, negative 1092 kilojoules, minus the reactant sum, again, Remember that the reason we subtract is because we have to reverse that sign because we're not forming products, we're, react, we're consuming them. So when you add or subtract negative 1092 minus negative 184, you get negative 908 
kilojoules as the overall enthalpy change for that reaction.